So we're ready for our maiden voyage. I got the boat pretty much ready to go. We'll start at the front here. I've got new wiring. Got a new strap. Safety chain. I adjusted the, um, the trailer frame. The axles here were slid back where they need to be. I've got uh, new bunks covered with carpet. The rollers adjusted where they need to be so that the boat is not sitting on the center rollers. Those are just guides. I took off this guide over here on the side. I just cut it off and I left these uprights on here. Just put a pool noodle on here for now because my rubber pieces haven't come in yet. I just don't want to scratch the boat. I've got my outboard. Um, my stern drive, I mean, ready to go. It's an old Eaton. Everything works on it. I checked the oil. The oil fill is right here. It's full of clean oil. I checked my prop. It's in pretty good shape. I've got an extra, extra one with me if I need it. New tie downs. New drain plug. I've got the boat loaded with things that I need. Inside here, I just got uh, some items stowed away, fishing poles, a little umbrella. I don't have a bimini top yet, so I'm going to just put my umbrella up. Got it all cleaned out, new fire extinguisher. Um, I've got my fuel tanks cleaned out, hooked up, ready to go. There's my uh, send, new sending units, the new filler. Same thing on this side, a new valve over here. If I need to switch tanks, I just switch one valve off and turn the other one on and it sucks from either tank. I took apart the controls here and uh, they're all working fine. Here's my dash. I couldn't find any pictures online for this boat, so I didn't know what the dash was supposed to look like. Most of them came with a speedometer. I put the original one back in. Uh, I believe it works. We're gonna try it today to, to see. And I just hooked up some of the original gauges that I had, pretty much where the old ones were. I covered the, the big hole I had up here just with a piece of thin white plastic. Eventually, I will refiberglass that. But in order to do that, I've got to take this whole piece off on the side. I didn't have time for that, so I just put a glued piece of plastic over the top of it. I used all original type switches for my anchor light, running light. These are all the st still the original um, labels on here, the bilge pump little storage area in here yeah not the original steering wheel but it'll work at the back here I've got my battery box battery switch there's my house battery this is all I'm not sure if that's original these rubber straps, but it's what 
came with the boat, so I just left them for now. This is the original cover. Needs some work, but for today it'll do. So the motor is ready to go. I ran it. It's got a good oil pressure. This is my C strainer. I have to make a bracket for it still, but right for the time being, I've just got it wired up and it'll suck the water up from the lake and uh, send it up to my C strainer back down here through the pump. I got a new pump in here and it sends it up both sides up into the exhaust manifold through the thermostat and out the back. So everything is uh, ready to go. I checked all my steering and adjusted all the linkages and the throttle. Everything works. So we're ready to go on our maiden voyage today. Yeah, I need new seats, but if she don't sink, I'll put new seats in it. <laughs> this here is a water tank apparently and uh, I think somebody thought it was a fuel tank at one time and they put fuel in here so it smells a little bit by, like old gas so um, I'm not putting any water in there not until I disinfect it really well over here is a, a faucet there's a tank inside there behind the wall so that's for water Inside, I rewired everything behind the dash. I made this little cover here. There was already a hole here. I don't know if it's the original hole, but it was already cut. So I just used these little knobs here to fasten this cover in here didn't put a hinge on it because it really doesn't need a hinge these little inserts I put in here so give me something to screw to I may redo this one day and make it larger uh, a larger opening maybe with a hinge we'll see but for now I've got all my electrics uh, redone all the wiring is new You can get to everything behind here. All the wiring for the... This is going to be a, a dome light. And there's another light going to be up there in the front. I still have to put a ceiling in here. But for the time being, it'll run on the water. So... Stay tuned, and you'll see this on the water. <laughs> 